equation an open sentence which is having a symbol of equality open sentence which is having symbol equals to or equality we'll call it as equation and already we have discussed about open sentence the sentence or an expression which is having one variable is present in that we call it as open sentence for example for open sentence it is x plus 3 or y plus 5 these are called open sentences which which is one of the variable is present in that expression we will call it as open sentence an open sentence which is having the symbol of equality x plus 3 is equals to 5 then we we'll call it as equation an open sentence which is having the equal to symbol or equality then we we'll call it as equation x plus 3 is equals to 5 is an equation or example another example is y plus 10 equals to 15 it has a symbol of equal to so it is it is called an equation and then let's see the linear equation the highest degree of the variable when the equation is 1 then we call it as linear equation for example x plus 3 is equal to 5 the same equation we have taken the highest degree of the variable we are present is 1 x is the variable, x is having the variable of 1 so this is called linear equation let us see other equations x squared plus 5 is equal to 2 this is an equation but this is not linear equation because highest degree of the variable is 2 so x cubed plus x plus 5 is equal to 3 this is not the linear equation because highest degree of the variable is 3 so this is not called as linear equation so highest degree of the variable is 1 that we call it as linear equation that's why right. another example for this the same as it is we will take y plus 10 is equals to 15 so if I an open sentence which is having symbol equal to we will call it as equation that equation which is having highest degree of the variable is linear equation and y plus 10 is equals to 15 and x plus 3 is equals to 5 are the examples for linear equation Let's see what are the rules for linear equation. We have some other rules for linear equations. We add a constant number on the both the sides of the equation of linear equation. The value of linear equation does not change. For example, we'll take x plus 3 and we add a constant number on both the sides of the equation. For example, that is x plus 3 is equal to 5. We add a 2 on both the sides of this equation, then we will get it x plus 5 is equal to 7. So let us find out the value of x after that. So here x is equal to when we transpose, we know in previous classes we have learned how to transpose the value. When we transpose this plus 5 becomes minus 5, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So the value of x is 2. So before solving, for adding 2 on both the sides of the equation, let us solve this. So this is x is equals to 5 minus 3, x is equal to 2. So the value of equation will not change at all when we add a constant number on both the sides of the equation. And this the same rule will be applicable for subtraction also. Like we subtract or, or we subtract a constant number on both the sides of the equation, the value of the equation does not change. And let us see for multiplication. We will multiply constant number on both the sides of the equation. We know already this value of this x is equal to 5 minus 3, x is equal to 2. And let us see, let us take this equation and multiply constant number on both the sides of the equation. x plus 3 is equal to 5. Let us multiply by 2 on both the sides of the equation. So we get using the distributive property here 2 into x, 2x, 2, 2 into 3, 6. 2x plus 6 is equal to 5 to 2, 10. So using the transposition rule, 6 
minus 10, 2x is equal to 10 minus 6, 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2, we got here. So, after multiplication of 2 on both the sides of equation, the value of equation does not change, the value is x is equal to 2, and before it, x plus 3 is equal to 5, before that we have solved this equation, we got x is equal to 2, so what we understood, we multiply a constant number on both the sides of equation, the value of equation does not change. The same rule will be applicable for the division also, we take a number and divide on both the sides of the equation, the value of equation will not change. These are the rules for the linear equations, also applicable for the equations. And let's see for the trial and error method, we'll take the same example, x plus 3 is equal to 5, another example. So let's take the value of x is 0, and let us substitute the value of x 0 in this place, the value of x is 0, so 0 plus 3 is equal to 5, 0 plus 3 is 3. To 5. So here we understood that 3 is equal to 5 is false. Let's take some of the number that is x is equal to 1. Then x is 1. So 1 plus 3 is equal to 5. 4 is equal to 5. So here 4 is not equal to 5. That is the reason it is false. Let's take x is equal to 2. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 is equal to 5, then this is true because 5 is equal to 5 is the 5 is equal to 5 so that the value of x is 2. So in the place of x we have substituted to the, the values on both the sides it became equal. So the value of x finally is equal to 2. So this method is called driving error method that we take from starting of 0 and 1 and 2 and so on. Sometimes we use the negative numbers here. For the integers also we we'll use the integers also we we'll use sometimes here to find out the value of x in trial and error method. So next systematic method we'll take the same equation that is x plus 3 is equal to 5. And systematic method we we'll take the use of Take the method of transposition, we we'll transpose the constant values one side and variables one side, we we'll keep it. So, we we'll take this value to right hand side, x is equal to 5 minus 3, so x is equal to 2. Because of that, here plus values are, we know that when we are transposing a value from plus, then it changes to minus, so 5 minus 3, x is equal to 2. So, this is the systematic method to find out the value of x. So solve an equation using systematic method. So applications of linear equations. Applications of linear equations. Rabi's age is three times the age of his son Rahul. If the sum of their ages is 56, the sum of their ages is 56. Find their ages. We need to find out their ages here. Rabi's age is three times of his son Rahul. So Rani age is equal to three times that his son Rahul. So let's take Rahul age Bx. Let's take round HBX. So the place of round H we can take it as X. So Rabi H it becomes 3X. So we have the sum of the ages is 56. Rabi plus Rahu. Rabi plus Rahu. The H together is 56. So we know that here Rabi H is 3X. Rahul age we have taken as x, so it's x is equal to 56. So 3x and here x, x is nothing but 1x. So 3x plus 1x is 4x. So is x is equal to 56. Using rule of transposition, multiplication changes to division. 
and division changes to multiplication. So this is 4x is nothing but 4 into x. So x is equal to, this is by 4. So x is equal to, it cancelled by 14 times. So here x is 14 and we know that Rahul is x. So Rahul is equal to, Rahul age is x is equal to 14 years. And uh, Ravi age is 3 times that Rahul. So Ravi is equal to 3 times of 14. So 52. So let's find out Ravi age. Ravi age is equal to 3 times that Rahul 3 to 14. That is 42. So B40 is 42. So is Rahul age is 14 years and Ravi age is 3 times than Rahul that is 42 years. Applications of trick. Applications of linear equation. Applications of linear equations. So the length of rectangle is 2 cm more than its breadth and uh, its perimeter is 20 cm. Find length and breadth of rectangle. Have rectangle length of rectangle is two centimeters more than its breadth. So let's take breadth be x. Breadth is x. So this is the breadth, also breadth. So both the opposite sides are equal. We know that. So length of rectangle is two centimeters more. X plus 2 is the length, so it is because 2 cm is more than its breadth. So opposite sides are equal, we know that. Here x plus 2. Here it's given that perimeter is 28 cm. So perimeter is equal to 28 cm. We know perimeter of rectangle is nothing but sum of all the sides. So let's take all the sides here, that is x plus 2 plus x plus 2, opposite sides and x plus x, x plus x is equal to 28 centimeters, x plus 2 plus x plus 2 and x plus x is equal to 28 centimeters. So here we know that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 x values we have, so 4 x. The constant values are here 2 plus 2, 4, that is 4, is equal to 28 using rule of transposition. Plus when we change it to minus, minus will be changed to plus. Then we, when we take this plus value to right hand side, it becomes 28 and minus 4. We have to transpose this one plus value to right hand side, it will get minus. So 4x is equal to 28 minus 4. So after 4x is equal to 24 and we know that multiplication will be changed to division and division changes to multiplication. So 24 divided by 4, x is equal to 6. So x is nothing but breadth. So breadth is breadth of rectangle is 6 centimeters and the length is 2 centimeters more than its breadth. So that is 8 centimeters because 6 plus 2 is 8, so at least 8 centimeters and breadth B is 